Hey YouTube, it's your boy Mizuki back with another video, and in today's video, I'll be running a new tier list, one that clearly hasn't been discovered yet. Yes guys, in today's video we'll be covering the procs at accessories and ranking them based on their current value and stats. Now obviously prior to making this video, I've done my research, I've worn these accessories from accounts given to me by you guys, watched explainers, read trellos, the list goes on. So you could basically say I'm a pro at these. Well not really, but I know a lot. So now without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Now before we begin listing these accessories, for those of y'all that don't know the way to obtain the godly accessories, what we basically gotta do is by doing one of the following three game modes, which are either Invasion, Incursion, and our Time Gate. Now whenever I play, I typically go for Time Gate, since in my opinion, it's a bit more it's a bit more simple, it's a bit more fun than the other three. But anyways, once you do the Time Gate though and win it, there's a 0.6 chance uh, 0, 0 0.6% chance of you receiving a time remnant. Now if you do end up receiving this time remnant, you have a choice between three of the following things. You can either choose to get an impure Hogyoku, you can choose to have 20 product essences, and or a godly accessory. Now some of y'all may think this is crazy, but I'm telling y'all it really isn't. I got my time remnant after my third time gate dub, and it shouldn't take you forever, so don't get discouraged. Besides, with Peroxide as it currently is, you can really only have fun by doing time gates, at least until they launch update 1, which I'm kind of curious about. Might be my next video by the way, but anyways, now with that in mind, let's get back into the ranking. Now before us, we got 9 godly accessories. Keep in mind there are only 9 currently in the game, which is which is hell of a lot compared to games like Type Soul and Reaper 2. Clearly Peroxide takes their accessories section with priority. Because, no, I'm not even gonna lie, Peroxide, I didn't count myself, but I would assume they have at least 70 or 80 accessories. It's a lot. But aside from that, the first one on this list we got is Lucifer's Cloak. The description of this cloak reads, A cloak worn by somebody who thought he was the strongest. Now obviously like the rest of the godly accessories on this list, this cloak can be obtained as a godly drop from Invasion's game modes, Time Gate game modes, and their Incursion raids. But the best part of this cloak are its boosts. The boosts and perks are that this item gives the player 4 vitality, 15 agility, 20% better health regen, 25% Ryatsu, and 25% uh, percent better Ryatsu regen. It also gives the player a trait, which gives the user bonus flash step and a 15% EXP multiplier. Definitely the cloak you want to rock as a spirit build due to the wild boost it would give you. What I find pretty funny is how a single accessory gives more benefits than probably 95% of the clans in Peroxide. But anyways, yeah, S tier. Now the second accessory you got on this list is called the Blood Cloak. The description reads, a horrible cursed cloak, those who wear it become obsessed with murder. Interesting description. This could obviously be obtained from either invasion game modes, time gate game modes, incursion raids. So this item gives the player 30 spirit and 35 strength, but there's a catch. It also takes away 20 vitality from the player. Now this cloak in my opinion is a lot worse than Lucifer's, because one, yeah the traits might be doubled, but compared to the Lucifer's that has 5 boosts and 2 bonus perks, this one only had only got two boosts, and even goes as far as to decrease our vitality by 20. Say what you want, but this deserves a B tier amongst the remaining godly accessories. Remember that's still good compared to most accessories, but when we compare it to the godly ones, it kind of lacks. With that in mind, accessory number three on this list is yet another cloak. This cloak though is called the Ancient Cloak. Its description reads, an incredibly rare and sought after cloak. Like all the other godly accessories, this cloak can be a, this cloak. I'm sorry, <laughs> this cloak can be obtained through invasion game modes, time gate game modes, and incursion raids. The perks of this item compared to the blood cloak actually gives a player 25 vitality as well as 11 spirit, 11 strength, and 20% more PVE damage. Which, in my opinion, is a dub because if you're fighting your inner spirit and/or any other NPCs, this could low-key come in clutch. As for the stat boost, they seem a lot more hybrid like more balanced compared to Lucifer's Cloak, which stands closer to a spirit build. All in all, I'd rank this one a high A. Now moving into the fourth accessory, we got ourselves the White Ancient Cloak. Basically a white version of the previous accessory. Its description again reads, an incredibly rare and sought after cloak. And the boosts are low-key identical to the ones of the original Ancient Cloak. I guess it all comes down to your preferred style, whether you like it white or dark purple. This item gives the player 25% 25 vitality, 11 spirit, 11 strength, and 20% more PvE damage. A tier, just like the previous one. Moving on to the fifth one, 
Uh, another fifth godly accessory, we got a red ancient cloak. This cloak is the identical version of the previous two cloaks. And the greatest part is all three do identical uh, damage. The only difference is obviously the color. Clearly the ancient cloak has like a family tree amongst the godly accessories, I guess. What I appreciate about these cloaks though is how jaded they are. Like, they look exactly like Ichigo's Bankai state. The ripped sleeves and all that really give this cloak a clean- Really give this cloak a clean look. So yeah, this item gives the player 25 vitality, 11 spirit, 11 strength, and 20% more PV damage. Nothing new. High A. Moving on to the sixth one, you could probably guess. The inverse ancient cloak. Yeah, well, let's just skip that. Um, but moving on, we finally got ourselves a non-cloak accessory. The time of normality bandages. These can again be obtained as a godly draw from invasion game modes, time gate game modes, and incursion raids. This item gives the player 40 strength in exchange for taking away 25 vitality. Now in my opinion, this accessory is even worse than the blood cloak, which gave us 35 strength, 30 agility, and only 20 vitality. The price was lower for a better deal, but here it only gives us 5 more strength than the blood cloak, only 1 boost, and for a deduction of 25 vitality, 5 more than the blood cloak. Sounds like a pretty big ripoff. I'm not gonna lie, with all due respect, this accessory is gonna take the L and go and go down to the C tier. Now moving on to some cape action, our second to last accessory is the Kamina's cloak. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, basically, this godly accessory, unlike the many other godly ones, uh, can only be obtained through ranked matches. A very tough drop to get, but upon attaining it. You get you get nothing. Yes, nothing. <laughs> Believe it or not, you get nothing. And the description reads: "Believe in in you that believes in me." That doesn't even make sense. Let me let me reread that. Believe in the you that believes in me. Whatever. Um, you know, honestly, I honestly believe that the abnormality bandages we're gonna take the L on this list, and which they are is just. We're gonna have to throw down a companion for them and rank this cape in C tier. Now I know y'all are probably like confused on why I did that, but hear me out. Godly accessories should all have some perk, right? I mean, compared to the accessories on this list, this one's just dead weight, right? And, I, and it could potentially get in the way. But aside from that, uh, of course, C tier. Last but not least, our ninth accessory is none other than Goku's outfit. Yeah, you heard me, Goku's outfit. His description reads, a uniform once worn by fighters from another dimension. This this cloak can only be obtained, or this uniform, as I, sh as I should say, can only be obtained during Goku Day, uh, September 5th, 2023. That's a very rare drop from Hollows. So yeah, guys, unfortunately, not obtainable anymore for now. <laughs> it might come back in the future. But this item gives the player 10 vitality, 40% better health regen, 20 Riyatsu, 10 Spirit, 5 Strength, 40% better Riyatsu regen when equipped. All in all, this is a very well-rounded and beautiful looking accessory. It definitely offers a lot more than even the Ancient Capes by giving us up to 40% better health regen and better Riyatsu regen, as well as giving us boosts on almost every stat in the game. This is well beyond deserving of S tier. Beautiful. Aside from that, that's all I got for today's list. Obviously, the reason why I didn't want to put legendaries is because legendaries has at least like 19 accessories, and it would probably take a good like 40 minutes to go over all of that. And you know, I that would take a while, and a lot of y'all would probably not tune in till the end because it would just be a very boring video. But on that note, I hope for all of y'all players trying to look for new accessories, I hope y'all understand basically what every single one of these godly ones does and whatnot again this video i made is be because again nobody is covering this just like the quincy cybernetics so it's kind of a cool idea i learned a lot from this from wearing all these accessories and honestly my personal favorite from these nine would probably be lucifer's cloak just because of the the exp boost that it gives you and the cool little flash that that it added to it definitely an s tier right there but yeah, aside from that, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, sub, all the proper things, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Ciao.